I'm Dr. Goddard and we're uh, treating Ron today and uh, he has a chronic uh, left shoulder injury. He can still work out through it. He's been able to do a lot of things, but he wants to be able to have maximal benefit. Um, last visit, we did uh, PRP injections uh, to different uh, ligaments and tendons and joint of the shoulder. Tell us how you felt pre to post. So pre, it, it definitely, um, I was still having like pain, but it was like sharp pain. I just kind of felt like there's like, the deficit was, I was more afraid of how it hurt when I was doing the exercises. And now I can do the exercises with some, still some pain in there, but it's not sharp. It's like more of a dull pain. It doesn't really hurt the same way. PRP, that's a very common thing I see. If we see a stepwise progression, people feel good, and but they still have some left in them and we usually have to keep going. But because uh, we're trying to get him back to uh, doing extreme activity, decided to go and get an MRI, which shows some fluid in the bicep tendon, subscap area on the inside, the supraspinatus and infraspinatus tendons have tears in, as well as some AC arthritis. Today we're gonna to do what is technically called amniotic tissue allograft and fluid, which contains stem cells, growth factors, as well as pieces of tissue of the amniotic sac that actually can be used as a grafting agent to build new tissue on top of. Most people are sore for about 24 hours with this treatment, and then uh, the uh, stem cells actually have anti-inflammatory effects, so you actually feel better within a few days most of the time. But first thing I always like to do, Physical exam, always looking at the strength and find out pinpoint with the hands first. Mm -hmm. Hold this arm up. Good strength, hold this one up. Any pain? Yeah. Where's the pain now? Uh, across the top right here. Okay, and that's very typical yeah. for the supraspinatus thing. Open your arm. Make a muscle for me and relax. Put the picture right there. And that's the subscap moving right there. Mm -hmm. See what I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. A little darkness in there. Mm -hmm. Underneath, you see the bone and the bone mm -hmm. shadows, and so that that way we know the white underneath and the black underneath means bone. If we go a little above, we see that's the supraspinatus tendon right there, and we see there's a little bit of a little bit of. Uh, it's not fluid forming, so it tells me there's some degeneration and there's fluid in there. Uh, when I say fluid forming, I mean not um, uniform across. That whole tendon's coming across and should look the same, but we see some areas where, where it's uh, less bright, and that shows some degeneration and, and mild, just mild tears. So you can see the needle on the screen. To redirect it right to this focal area. Now the first one's done. We're gonna numb the sub-Q tissue up the skin. We're gonna numb up in between there. And here's come some more fluid. Yeah, look at that. See how this opens up when I press the fluid in? Oh. That's the interstitial tear of the supraspinatus. So we went ahead and did our lidocaine procedure. It serves two purposes. One is it numbs up the area, the ligaments, tendons, where the injury is. And the uh, other thing it does is it actually is a diagnostic test because now we can ask him, does he feel better range of motion? Does he have decreased pain? I go get a water out of the fridge, I know I can get it and not hurt, so absolutely. So before the lidocaine, he couldn't even grab something without pain. Now this tells me we got the right tissue injury and the pain went away. Next step, we're gonna do strength, okay? And before, if you remember before he had pain in every single area and weakness on the last two. So we're gonna start with the first one. And again, this one's strong, and this one, anything, mm -mm. no pain. Is there the last time it did? Now turn your thumbs down, and come in. Okay. Hold this arm up, mm -hmm. hold this one up, any pain. Mm -hmm. Last time there was pain and weakness. Now, straight ahead. And now, hold anything, mm -hmm. no pain. So, that tells me when we re-inject our uh, cellular therapy, we're going to regrow the tendon, regrow the ligaments, and he's gonna feel this good. The only question is how many treatments does it take? In my estimation, uh, with Ron, is gonna take two treatments. My initial thought process based off the MRI um, and also somewhat the ultrasound was to do some to the AC joint and, and uh, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, subscap, bicep, after actually injecting and seeing what I saw, 
the super spinatus has the biggest tear in it, so I'm gonna add more to that area. So this is just being able to modify your treatments, being able to understand when you see something uh, diagnostically, when we inject and see something open up, uh, we know it's a bigger tear than these other areas. So this is the amniotic uh, tissue allograft fluid. It has pieces of the amniotic sac that you can see there. And this acts as a grafting agent so the body can actually build new tissue on top of it. I do this based on experience as far as how much I use. And I've used this company for five years. And for this, that bicep tendon, I used um, half a cc of the, uh, of the product that I, I uh, received. Now we're gonna go after the subscap. And you can see this is the focal area we're going to, that uh, dark area. And that's what we injected with lidocaine already. And here we go. You all see the needle right there. And the fluid's coming in, so it turns the screen a little white. All right, we're done. Okay, so now the, the plan is to uh, wait a couple days, let uh, a little bit of soreness wear off, and get into a good strengthening program of balancing the musculature. And the body's uh, had this injured shoulder for so long has developed a lot of compensation patterns. Mm -hmm. So we have to have therapists work and get those compensations out of the body, and we're gonna have a really uh, good recovery. And uh, he'll be back uh, doing his activity. Awesome. Full, full scale, I'd I'm say. Excited. Within weeks to one month, I'd say. Good. Yes. Yeah. I think if it feels like this with after the lighting, I'm I'm excited.